Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our Duotone Foiling Tech Talk. I'm Klaas, this is Jerome Bonnier, our foil designer. And today we have something pretty exciting here, which is our new Glide 2.0. So the new version of our best-selling wing in the range. That's right. And yeah, Jerome, what has been done to make the Glide even better? Yeah, so what we've done, the easiest way to show you is probably to hold these two uh, wings, one next to each other. That's the previous. So this is a new one? That's the new one, the 2.0, and that's the original Glide there, if you want to hold it. Sure. So that's the new 900, and that's the old 905. So what we've done on the Glide is we tried to keep most of the surface area towards the center and have relatively uh, little surface area at the wingtip. So you can see here the cord length is pretty, pretty long, and it gets sort of thin towards the tip. And that seemed to work really well. We had a nice sort of grunty... Uh, center of the, of the wing here, but the tips were still relatively loose, so we had good turning ability. So what we did is we pushed the concept even further, and you will see that on the new one, we're keeping that cord length for even longer. It, it, it draws a bit of a belly here, and then the tips go way thinner if you compare the, the cord length of the tip here. We're even way thinner. We also increased the aspect ratio a little bit. We went from about nine and a half to ten and a half something like this roughly mm -hmm. um, so you see that the the 900 is it's a 10.2 it says here yeah yeah 10.2 aspect ratio and this one was uh 9.4 okay um the other thing we did with the the profile is we added some more camber meaning we we run a slightly more powerful profile yeah and this combined with the fact that we have more of a belly in the center combined with the fact that we have more aspect ratio actually makes a much more uh, lifty uh, wing. So the new 900 in terms, of left, uh, in terms of lift gets now closer to the old 1085. They're more comparable in terms of lift than to the old 900. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, once you start comparing a 900 to a 1085, all of a sudden you have way less drag way more maneuverability so you you kind of want to downsize and compare to the older generation if that makes any sense so that means if i started my downwind foiling on a 1305 yeah now i'm doing similar lift on the 1100 exactly you're we don't have it here with us but yeah. we've got for example now an 1100 and that's probably what you would want to step to if you were used to a 1305 because it's like similar lift, but way more speed, way less drag, and the turning obviously is going to be better as well. Yeah. And, uh, That's the exact comparison I did. Um, I started on the 1305, and uh, the, yeah, then you got me the proto of the 1100, and I must say, uh, better speed, better turning, yeah. better glide. Like uh, it blew my mind how much, how much more. Uh, in every efficient. single one of those categories, how much more efficient it was. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then winging with the other sizes, 900. I did a downwind on a 900 as well, yeah. which I thought that's out of my league, but it was possible because of the lift. Yeah. And then winging the other sizes, uh, really fun. Like uh, I'm just sizing down. And this is, I guess, this is what you guys need to understand as well. Mm. Uh, you need to opt for a smaller size. Yeah. And now the biggest glide is a 13. 50? Yeah, it's that one. It's the 1350. Um, and it, in terms of lift that it produces, it gets sort of closer to our old 1595 almost. Mm -hmm. um, so quite a bit more lifty than this 1305 that we had, which you, you could think that it replaces the 1305, but it's actually quite a bit more grunty. So and, that's and the real weapon if, you wanna, if you're a bigger guy, you yeah. want to get into downwind paddling. That could be a good or option. the really light wind option for winging, yeah. that's the 1350. That's the 1350, yeah. Um, so apart from that, I mean, in terms of sort of the curvature of the wing, it, they're pretty similar, a little bit, little bit flatter in general on the new generation. Mm -hmm. There's a bit le less of that sort of downward curve Let's happening. 900 again as comparison. Yeah, so if we compare the curvature, looking from the front, you can see how the new one stays a little bit flatter and starts going down a bit further. Again, for a bit more efficiency, more of the lift going up instead of going to the sides, which those curved down tips uh, do. And um, 
Another thing we, we improved on are the, the stabilizers that are now matching these new front wings. We've got a new range of H stabilizers. So just, just finishing out the front wings, so we yep. have a 750, which compares to the old 905. Yeah, I mean, you, it's not a direct comparison, but it's, let's say it's, it's closer to the 905 than it is to the 725. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the 900 compares to the 1085, exactly. roughly, roughly 1100 to the 1305. Yeah, you drop down a size, basically, compared right. to, to last year. Um, and that's in the SLS uh, construction, but we will also launch it as a D-Lab. Uh, we don't have the wings here with us, but it's basically exactly the same wings with a D-Lab construction, which by D-Lab we mean that the, the front wing and the fuselage are merged together mm -hmm. into, into a single piece. So way less drag happening over here for even more performance. So well, that one is coming in 900, 750, and then also a small yeah, 620. 620. We made that one also in a 620, uh, but yeah, but we stop at 900 mainly for two reasons, as, as we do with the carve as well. Um, at some point, if we start going too big with a really big span, it, it, it becomes a little bit critical here in the fuselage area. So that's the first reason. And secondly, the bigger you go, the less our fuselage connection is a problem on the SLS. Because kind of, you're not going as fast. Because you're not going as fast and it kind of merges into the front wing quite well. Uh, whereas on the small wings, they start sort of bulking up a little bit and it doesn't look so good on a, on a small front wing to... to and obviously the faster you go, the more you will feel the benefits. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it makes a lot more sense to use this connection on small wings. On a really big wing, I mean, we've tried, it does, doesn't do a huge, huge, huge difference. All right. You were just about to start with the stabilizer. We introduced this one, the 185 already earlier in the year yep. with the amp. Correct. And now we're going full fletch. Now we have yeah. how many sizes? Uh, geez, uh, 125, 145, 65, 185, 210, 235. So six sizes. Yeah, from the, this tiny 125 all the way to the 235, which I don't think we've got. We have, no, here. we don't have it here, but yeah. it looks the same, just bigger. Just bigger, yeah. So these tabs, uh, obviously higher aspect ratio and a uh, new profile, a little bit more symmetric, less scamber in the profile. And uh, they give us super good projection in the pump and feel very slippery, very low drag. Um, they are also a big part of why this setup feels a lot better. So like, much more efficient. Yeah, a lot comes from the stab. Yeah, yeah, we talked about it earlier when we talked about the amp that this is kind of changing the game for pumping efficiency, yeah. this, this type of stabilizer. Um, you said that it has a special profile as well, which is really neutral. Yeah, more neutral than what we've used in, in our other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So size-wise, um, if, if we talk about tuning a little bit, yeah. because the Glide is a really versatile wing, some people use it, or a lot of people use it for winging and like to just glide along. Um, people use it for downwind foiling, downwind SUV paddling. People like to use it for prone foiling. You so if you do look at the different disciplines, um, the recommendation that's written on here, let's pick the 900. So it's rec we recommend it to pair it with a one, the H185. Yeah. Um, if I'm, that's the right size if I'm winging all conditions. It's gonna be mostly optimized for winging because at the end of the day, most of our customers are using these wings for winging. So. It's a stab that, what, what we mean by optimize for winging is that you're going relatively fast. When, when you're winging, you've got the power from the wing, you know, you're, you can get to 20 knots relatively easily. And for these speeds, you need that big, between brackets, big stab, that, that 185. It's not a big stab, but... Yeah, but you will probably tell me that you like riding a smaller <laughs> stab. That's why I'm saying it's a big one. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, I did my recent downwinders uh, with this baby here, um, a 165 yeah. on an 1100. Yeah. So one size down, one size up. Um, so it's basically two steps down. The 1100 recommendation down. is 210. the 210. Yeah. And I think we had some discussions in R&D 
Yeah. Some riders testing in flat water, they were like, oh, definitely 210. We tested on Maui, oh, winging 185, downwind 165. Spencers were like 145 all the way. <laughs> yeah. So it really comes down to where you are, where you ride, what discipline you ride. So pumping efficiency is higher on a smaller step. Winging, you get with a recommended step, or if you're really heavy, even one size up, you yeah. get more front foot pressure, right? Yeah, so I, the way I see it is I relate it more to the speed range you're going to be using your, your wing. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be going fast, meaning winging, you're better off having a bigger stab because that bigger stab sort of keeps the nose of your board you know, pointing up even when you're going fast. Um, but the, the drawback is when you're pumping and going relatively slow, like following bumps, it might feel a little bit draggy and it might feel like uh, it's not as efficient as if, as if I had something a little bit smaller. Yeah. So it's more related to the, the speed. So um, as you say, downwind, downwinding on the 1100, if you want more performance, you could consider trying up to two sizes down. You could go one size, you could go two sizes down. So from the 210, go to the 165. Uh, and that's valid for all the sizes, so. And then you need to compensate moving your mast forward. Yeah, you mo you'll move your, your mast a little bit forward um, and, uh, and it's just gonna feel more slippery and sort of more efficient when you're gonna be, when, basically when you're not being pulled by your wing, when it's just the waves pushing you, that smaller stab kind of feels better. Just when you're winging, you feel like nose wants to drive down a little bit. Yeah, if you use that same small stab winging and you sort of go fast and you feel like you're your, your nose. And I mean, this is not typical to the glide. This is true for any foil, any brand, any. Like, yeah. it's always in which speed range are you going to use this kind of... You, should, you guys should probably check out the foil basics yeah. um, <laughs> episode about that, about yeah. all the theory, if you're into that. Works, Bit of a nerdy yeah. content. But uh, yeah, I think that explains the theories of how the back wing works with the front wing and yeah. the different things that it's creating. The, the lift or what you say, uh, front foot pressure or versus the lift of the foil? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's kind of a tricky one because at the same time, we want to keep it very simple for everyone. And that's why we've got a recommended stab. But it's also true that you can play around. Like you can sort of find new flavors to your foil by, by playing with different sizes, playing with angles. And we're getting to this point now where our sport has matured a little bit and uh, we have more and more of the riders that have a better level and it's more and more of a talk on the beach, you know, like, ah, which stab did you use? Ah, you should try smaller, blah, blah, blah. And that's why we kind of built a bigger range that, than we needed in a way. This one is not even on the recommendations for any yeah. of the ones, but we know our riders asking for even smaller. <laughs> yeah. They, they, um, they so this gives you the option to size even from the smallest recommendation, size one, size down. Even go down, yeah. Um, but in general, the recommended stabilizer works for pretty much everything. It works. Every rider, yeah. let's say 90% yeah. of all usage is the go-to one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, if you have a rider that's coming from his first foil, mm -hmm. And then he is asking you, hey, I'm not really into jumping, but I want to have something more exciting. Is the Glide 2.0 the one to go for? And then if, which size? Yeah, I mean, for sure. If the guy, uh, the rider already knows how to foil, he can definitely jump to the, the Glides. They are high aspect, but they are still user friendly. So they're not hard to ride. Um, you would he would probably want to stay on a relatively big one, like the 1350 or the 1100, at least as a, as a first especially contact. Heavier. Yeah, especially if he's a bit heavier. But uh, in general, they are not sort of uh, reserved to an elite or anything. They're, you know, Pretty easy to ride still. Right? Yeah, they're very easy to ride for sure. We, we actually kept a lot of the DNA from the original one because they were so popular. So we didn't want to go too far away from it. So as I explained earlier, we just sort of took the concept that worked and pushed it one step further and tweaked a little bit the, the camber and the profile and this and that. But in general, Same I DNA. think, yeah, we can see that they are, they are not so far off, you know, it's, it's kind of, yeah, yeah kind of an evolution uh, more than a revolution. Yeah. Great. 
thanks a lot. I think that's a lot of good value content for you guys, I hope at least. And uh, I hope you get a chance to try these wings out. Um, I'm really stoked riding them, whether winging or downwind paddling. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy this content, give us a like. Leave a comment if you have a question. Make sure you subscribe because we have some other wings that might be interesting for you and we make a talk about every single one of the range and uh, hope to see you in the next episode.